Okay, let me give you a quick overview of how to use Perusal. So when you actually log in, you'll, you'll start in this Get Started section and it will walk you through. There's a tour that will kind of show you the different features. So certainly I would take the time to go through that. The Library tab is just going to have all of the course readings in it and then the assignments is where you're really going to work and do most of your assignments out of. So you'll see for each week, this is just a sample, but you'll see for each week all of the assignments. So to get started, go ahead and click on work on the assignment. And I've posted um, one, two, three readings for each assignment. And the whole idea behind perusal, it would be like having a discussion in the classroom where I give you something to read, everyone in the class reads it, and then they start making comments and we have a discussion. So since we're doing this virtually, this is a nice, easy way to handle all of that. Not to mention it's more social media-like, so it's very user-friendly for, for most um, students these days. So we've got the documents. You're going to read through it. That's the number one item that you need to take into account. And it is a part of your grade, the reading component, reading all the way through to the end. So and then actively time spent actively reading. So I might highlight this and I want to make a comment. Wow. Ah, that's interesting that we are actually expected to read to read the entire assignment. Okay, so that's basically how you're gonna get started. You highlight things that you find interesting and you make a comment about them. Now what's interesting about perusal is its quality. So it's posting thoughtful questions and comments that elicit responses from uh, other your other classmates. And you need at least three annotations to compute your score. So you need to reply and comment at least three different times. Opening the assignment multiple times throughout the week and discussion and contributing throughout the week is a component of your grade, as are those reading components and getting replies and responses. So um, now you'll see when I click out of that, because I'm signed in as a student, it's yellow. So all the yellow highlights will be things that other students have commented on. So you can just go directly to it and click on it and um, you can see what other people have said and then you can reply and make comments. Now, if you think, wow, this is uh, a really cool thing, we have something called upvoting and people get credit for that. So you click on that and that like, tells the author that you thought it was interesting and a helpful point. And again, then you can make comments. So the idea is you, it's kind of like liking a post. You want other people to like your posts and um, then you want to comment on those. So it's pretty straightforward as far as that goes. There's a couple other things. It's kind of cut off here. I apologize for that. Maybe I can minimize the screen just a little bit. Okay. So now you can see a little better. So we're looking at the current conversation right now, which is what I've actually clicked on. So I can go down and I could click on this to see what's been said and this what's been said. You can also click on all conversations. You can see what's been uploaded. So you can see what other people have thought was really interesting as well. Um, you can star comments. You guys can go through these things. They're not terribly important, but I did want to point this out as well. So the my scores. So I told you that high quality was more important than quantity. So I, I've only earned nine points out of 25. Now I've made four posts on the assignment. So I might need to go back and make some more high quality ones. So saying this is an interesting point is not get me any points. As I said, it's just like a regular discussion forum. So um, you want some, some comments with some meat and some thoughtfulness um, that are applied to them if you want to make sure you're earning, earning full points. And again, opening up and coming back in throughout the week at least more than once is going to earn you extra points, things like that. So uh, hopefully that'll get you started. I think for the most part, it's pretty straightforward once you get into it. Uh, you find, redo the readings, find some interesting things that you want to comment on. Go ahead and make those comments and then um, see what other students are commenting on and make those uh, appropriate replies. Hopefully that helps. If not, let me know. Thank you.